Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today, in today's tutorial we're going to be making up the Simply Made Crafts Noodle Box die set and I know I keep saying this, this one's my favourite, that one's my favourite, but this is definitely one of my favourites. So this is the Noodle Box die set and it comes with the closure at the top there. Isn't this lovely? And um, I've taken a bow from one of the other die sets, I think it's the hamburger box and it opens up just like this so you have a full box and you only need to add glue to the bottom because this unfolds like that comes with all the mats as well and it comes out so it's literally just like a real noodle box perfect for putting in your treats it opens up like that and again you can put windows in this as well because it comes with all of the matte dies so um, let me know down in the comments what sort of treats you would put in this. So for this one, I've popped in some coloured laces. Here we go. Let me show you the laces that I've used. These are these like rainbow laces. Oh, I can smell them. They're really quite strong. So this, these do kind of compact down and get all squishy again. So you could probably fit two of these packets in there. And again, they open up too just like that so you can have a nice treat box that's open like that perfect for kids because it's a nice little open box that they can delve into so you can put your popcorn in here as well so this is going to be absolutely perfect for movie nights and um, baby shower boxes are going to look wonderful you know all themed up and decorated nicely for your baby shower as well weddings favor boxes one of these on every table just fill it with some sweets absolutely perfect and these are so quick and easy to make as well so how to fold these up you literally just fold them up and it gets tucked into this bit there okay so let's move on to the die set now here we go this is the noodle box die set and I've popped mine onto a magnetic sheet with a little bit of cardboard on the back there just for some sturdity so you need to die cut two of these so let me see what I've done I have prepped already okay I grabbed a different setup and then I filmed a completely different video so this one was put away so I've, I'm using the papers from a great night in so I've die cut already two of these and you are going to be needing an A4 machine for this one and these tops are slightly um, different so we have these two metal dies here so what we're going to do is I'm just going to fold this over before we run this through the machine and then once I've done these I'm now going to and then I'm then going to put all the mats on before I assemble okay so you will see that we have these slopey bits either side now one of them will go on here just like that so let's take that down and depending on how tight or how loose you want the top of your box to be um, you would literally um, I'm going to just double check that I've got the right side I haven't no there's a score line here it's not a proper score line but it's an indentation mark line here and that is where you put that along there so I put that on the wrong side so I apologize so you just need to put that on there and then same on this one this one is going to be this half circle tab there so you can see what we are going to be making so as I was saying depending on your tightness um, how well you want it I want mine a bit further down but just experiment it's going to be individual to how you want it and now we can run those through the machine and then I'm going to do the matting
Okay, so I have these now, so we're going to be gluing those together. So I'm going to add the glue to this tab here, the underside of this square. Because these are going to get tucked underneath like that. And then on this tab here. So if you're going to have trouble remembering all of that, just do it step by step, one, one bit at a time. And then you'll slowly get your box put together. Put that there, and add some glue just along here. There we go. Right. Time is of the essence here before my glue dries. And there we have that glued together. There we go. Just make sure these top sections here are lined up and neat and then you know you have that all in the right place. Okay, so these little half circles here, that's for tucking these into once we assemble. But I'm just going to add the rest of my matting now. So I have these two squares left over and I've saved them for the last bit because it's just easier once you have these glued together to then decide which one you're going to do. And again, if your glue is having a bit of trouble, grab your bone folder, press that down, and that should press everything in place. And again, this will look absolutely lovely if you mat the inside as well, because all, all these mat dies, they are all, they are all gonna work on the inside too. Okay, that is all the glue that we need to add now. The rest just folds together. Okay, so these bits here, these pinch outwards. So just have a little bit of an exercise there. Just posh, pop, pop them out like that and give them a little bit of a twist. There we go. And now these are going to pop inside this half circle here. And again, thinner cardstock. I think I've used 300 GSM, but 250 would be perfect for this. Um, this one was made out of the paper as well. That's uh, 200, it's 250 GSM. So it's really nice and sturdy. And just tuck that in, just like that. And then these fold in just like so. Oh, I didn't fold that one down. I missed a score line. Let's get that folded. There we go. So fold that in. And there you have it. I think I did that a bit too low. That just folds in just like that. So yeah, I will make a mental note not to go down too far for that one so that will close okay so that is the noodle box and i'm not too sure how i'm going to decorate this one yet i think i might put this aside for easter so this will fit in some lovely easter eggs as well especially when you have like a big bat net bag a couple of net bags of the smaller easter eggs so thank you for joining me today give me a thumbs up and i'll see you next time